Joke Battles. What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and I thought this would be a pretty interesting topic to discuss considering my next fight. I mean, my next fight isn't really a joke battle, but I guess you could consider it one with how goofy the characters I picked are. But it seems people are seeing this as a joke battle, so why not discuss it? Now, if you've been on my channel for a long time, you know that I actually really dislike joke battles, like whenever Death Battle does, uh... Deadpool vs. Pinkie Pie, something like that, or when Animation Rewind does his meme and Illuminati stuff, so... Why am I being a hypocrite, Leo? Why... Why am I doing that when I say I don't like them doing it? <laughs> well, there's actually a pretty good reason for that. There's, um, a huge difference in the joke battles I do and the joke battles Death Battle and Animation Rewind does. Um, I actually take them seriously. <laughs> because what Death Battle tends to do, they have... They show all this odd stuff for each character, and then they have a crazy fight, and then with a result without a conclusion, unfortunately, and then boom, stick and whiz, just go, whoa, what just happened? I don't know, it's a tie, ah! And then Animation Rewind, I don't even know what's going on with him when he does his meme and Illuminati battles. Um, but the point is, there's just no payoff. I think that it makes the joke funnier to take the unusual fights 100% seriously. Because, I mean, if you take a fight with unusual characters that no one cares about and it's kind of super duper weird, and then you don't even give a result to it, it's kind of just wasting time. Wa wasting people's time. So it seems more like a prank battle to me. They're doing prank battles. To me, a joke battle is making something completely weird, but then going with it all the way. Taking it completely seriously, like I did with my That 70s Battle Royale. I didn't have to take it seriously. I could have just made some funny sitcom joke like, no one wins because it's a sitcom and no one dies in sitcoms. I mean, people do die in sitcoms, but they die off screen. No, wait, someone in that 70s show died on screen. But you get what I'm trying to say. I could have made some horrible joke and then gave no conclusion, wasting everyone's time since not many of my viewers actually watch that 70s show and are interested in that 70s show. So I had to give them some kind of payoff. You know what Chuck Norris vs. Sega Tassanshiro did for me? Absolutely nothing. I wasn't interested in checking out any of Chuck Norris's movies. I wasn't interested in checking out any of Sega Tassanshiro's commercials. I just didn't care. You know what Deadpool vs. Pinkie Pie did for me? Nothing. It didn't make me want to check out Deadpool more, and it definitely didn't want to make me check out My Little Pony more. <laughs> um, but do you know what that 70s show did for someone? I actually had... Three different people tell me that they actually have started watching that 70s show because of the Battle Royale. And they didn't know how actually funny it was because the clips I showed in it were really good clips. So they were interested in watching it. So taking joke battles seriously is a really good idea. Because, I mean, if you just take a weird fight and then just toss it aside and not really care about it, people are going to go, huh? Oh, well, okay, that was a thing. But if you take something super weird and get super into it and take it super seriously, people are going to be intrigued. They're going to be like, why is he taking it so seriously? I better check this thing out. So joke battles when done properly, like when taken seriously, can actually intrigue people in some stuff and get them interested in all sorts of different things. But when done wrong, they can be incredibly frustrating. Like, for example, with Death Battle. Um, they had the Samus versus Boba Fett remake to um, pay tribute to Monty Ohm, which is cool, but it was a remake. And then three weeks after that, they had um, uh, Sega Tassanshiro versus Chuck Norris, another non-proper fight. So he had a remake and a joke battle back to back. So we had to wait three weeks to wait for Samus versus Boba Fett, three weeks to wait for Sega versus Sanshiro. Segata Sanshiro versus Chuck Norris. Not Segata versus Sanshiro. Um, and then three weeks after that to wait for the next proper fight. So, because of the joke battle and the remake, we had to wait nine weeks before getting another proper death battle. So if your versus show actually takes a while to make, make sure you do your joke battle correctly and take it completely seriously so you won't keep your viewers waiting for something good.